great thanksgiving to the Creator that we're living here in the day, not of prophecies, but the fulfillment of our prophecies. These prophecies promised after a long, long winter time of 500 years, we would awaken as one human family. this at this time. Our indigenous prophecies promise at this time there would be a union of the condor and eagle, a reunion of a condor and eagle, and this as well is happening throughout the hemisphere and around Mother Earth. And part of that prophecy, Mitaki Epi, my beloved relatives, is that we would not rest. We would not rest until our beloved Mother Earth is completely protected in its sacredness for our future generations, and that's why we're here. These prophecies also said there is no power in heaven or earth that will stop what it is that we have been destined to do in unprecedented, unified action. On January 23rd to the 25th, we held a grand council at the Hontawa Territories in South Dakota. We had nations come from Canada and the United States to sign the International Treaty to Protect the Sacred from Tar Sands Projects, all forms of Tar Sands Projects. It is time to idle the war and protect the sacred. And Mitaki Epi, we are sacred. We are sacred. Each of us is a sovereignty, ancient, imperishable, and everlasting. Every one of us is that. And so I want to give thanksgiving to Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Because in his injustice, and in his continuing justice, his greed, he has awakened a sleeping giant. with justice to our President Barack Obama, who was named by the great Crow Nation, given a sacred name, that he signs this Keystone XL pipeline, he will leave a legacy of injustice for as long as history is. He will have broken every promise he made when he came into office to indigenous peoples. We do not want our sacred lands destroyed. We do not want our sacred places destroyed. We do not want this to happen in any way. The prophets have said there would come two snakes that would take us away from the earth. One black snake would go upon the earth. Of course, that's the roads that take us away from being outside where these sacred places are, to feel the energy of our mother earth. And the second snake they said would come, would come underneath the earth. At that time, whatever it took would be for us to stand up and stop it. Not just there, but any abuse of Mother Earth. Because our Mother Earth is not only a Mother Earth that represents our holy women. And our teaching and our teachings say, our teachings say this without question. The eagle of humanity has two wings. One is man and one is woman. Until both eagle wings of that eagle have equal power, respect, and honor, the eagle of humanity will never fly its greatest and highest. That's the truth. That's what's my life is. And that's our responsibility to bring about. Finally, one last thing here. I don't know how my timing's going, which is showing my minutes here or something. I'm in. Well, Mitaki Epi, I look forward as we move to the future to see the full and complete fulfillment of our sacred prophecies. It will happen. By Dakota Way, when we close, we say our names, we say, My name is Chidupa Sapa, a sacred black pipe that's born of thunder, lightning, and rain. My name is Shunkmano, a leader of warriors who takes the enemy's best horses, and I stand responsible as a sovereign being, ancient, imperishable, and everlasting, for my words and my actions. Ho! Oh!